morning. Hello and welcome to Toys Are Evil. Today I'm going to take a look at the figure from Akif. Akif Zulmansa. Um, this is the box that came with it. I had a time lapsed unboxing in my story just yesterday. So I, I had planned to give a timeline for this unboxing, but you know, circumstances do not necessarily allow me that luxury. Excuses, excuses, but um, yeah, let's have a look at the box first. This is a huge, huge box, and much less a huge figure. You can see the, see the readout here. Archive, archive, we shall return. And this figure, Saru, Koma Earth, as you can see, is designed by Archive Wilmansa, yes, and also self produced by himself and uh, Wonderland Project. That this is company name so this is his self-produced vinyl figure very cool nice nice I hope you all can capture you can see all in this uh, video I've decided to do a vertical video because of the size of the figure and also the, the constraints of the space that I have so let's jump into what's inside I hope it's bright enough Sun is shiny right outside the window, and yeah, hope it works out. It's like a shoebox cover. Very nice, okay. I'm well, loving the shiny, the matte and shiny uh, surface treatment. Love it. Black foam. Let me remove the black foam. I know I should be doing like a, a, a on the table figure, but I can see the full figure in the shop. Let's have a look at this first. This is a certificate of authenticity. It's a solid plastic piece, thick. Yes, the art by Arkin. And also, the certificate of authenticity literally is the certificate of authenticity. Um, as we can see the detail here. This is the Saru Koma Earth edition. I won't be surprised and look forward to if there are other colorways later on. Uh, medium is vinyl. It's size 33 cm, 13 inches tall. So, this is pretty huge. The edition is 200 pieces. Year is 2004. So it's his signature, and I've got my number piece. 90, 92 or 2000 200 thanks Akiv you rock bro so this is the certificate of authenticity so this is cool this is the figure itself Ooh. nice foam carved Let me put this aside what I'll do is I'll display this here lah Captures the light a little bit. Looks pretty. You can stand, yeah? Okay, can. Ta da! Nice. Let's have a little read up of what the figure is. The story of the figure. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna read out what I wrote on my Toy News on my blog. Introducing Saru, the talented Aki Valmansa. It's a groundbreaking manifestation of his artistic evolution inspired by his journey from inception to the present. Saru is derived from Indonesian slang, meaning vague, embodies a profound synthesis of news, trauma, curiosity, and personal apprehensions. It's cool, heavy man. It serves as a poignant tribute to embracing every facet of existence, acknowledging that clarity often emerges in retrospect rather than in the nebulous present. And this is a text that has gone from Museum of Toys for the figure Saru. Let's have a look at the figure itself. Let me see 
back in. Quite slightly brighter. No articulation at the arms, the neck. Yes, articulation at the neck. You see the creaky vinyl, which is cool. This is a solid piece of vinyl. It obviously hollowed up, but it's a significant weight. I can imagine its thickness and integrity. Articulation at the legs. But you to put it front so it can stand properly and it stands very steady. I mean, I love it when my pickups can stand. <coughs> so it's swivel left, right? It's not like a ball joint. And yeah, the, the wrist can move as well. The wrists. Yeah, I mean, it, of course, it would be cool if arm can be articulated but it's not it's supposed to stand like this so it's like a parody of Mickey Mickey Mouse but with its own sourness identity you can see the profile okay. and the finishing is pretty darn decent from here uh, no printing at all besides uh, the different colorways and the joints not crisp enough for me but decent enough for a clean line figure very decent weight let's have a look at the feet print archive wonderland i mean the joy of having this self-produced toy i can only imagine nice shouldn't scrape too much I always always have a problem with having a toy and it's on display and it stands on its own and there's a lot of scraping at the end of the day a lot of residue is left at the bottom of the feet and it's just always quite painful so I'm trying to be mindful of that and yeah let me have a closer look let me see if I can raise my camera a little bit, little bit more my camera better this way okay, anyway just want to have a closer look at the details and the clean it's obvious when you see a frontage like this the figure's clean it doesn't look as if it's a separate piece joined together because if that's the case then this is a pretty awesome finishing this looks as if it's a separate piece joined together and this the look of this figure is very active if you follow his discography, you want to call it, his a retrospective of works, all this now is, is a very distinctive archive shape and, and, and figure form. So it's very, it's, it's wonderful to see the evolution of an artist and still recognize it from the artist and the creator. The horns, I need to find out. Maybe one day I'll, I'll find out a little bit more about the figure. What does this stand for? What does the horn stand for? The, the blackness always remind me like Super Sentai, the Power Rangers. But at the same time, maybe maybe if I interpret it, it's it's maybe it's just like that. It's this point of view. Wow, the sun came out. Suddenly, it's so much brighter. And the mercy of the sun outside my window. Nice. I, I, I'm also enjoying the uh, um, Atom Boy. Astro Boy, oh, I really forgot the name, man. Eh? Astro Boy ish type of uh, cartoony feet. Pretty nice. It's a bit of waste, though, that even though you have uh, articulated wrists, it doesn't really do much beyond that. A bit of a waste. I mean, what can he do with this? If, it, if his hands is raised up and the palms are here, it's nice to be carrying carry things. Like not get these separate pieces, probably separate pieces here. But yeah, this is my look at Saru Koma Earth Edition from Aki. And yeah, I will end this stream now. The this video will be added, live video will be added to my reels so you can feel free and check it out. Uh, do feel free to leave comments on that page that upload and as well 
if any questions for Akif, maybe you can drop there. I'm going to bug him to check out the upload. Lah. So I'll answer you folks directly. And yeah, I'm going to end my stream now. Yes, this has been the Toys Are Evil toy review. As well, I'm uploading this onto my YouTube as well. Uh, again, to get more eyeballs into the toys lah, in question. And with that, thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all again soon, very soon actually, for another review.